If you just got the Insta360 GO 2 and you don't know where to start, then this beginner guide mini series is going to help you learn how to make short videos for social media just using the Go 2 and your phone. So let's jump straight in and take a look at what's inside the Go 2 box and I'll explain how each part works. In the box you'll get the Go 2, the charging case, Type-C USB cable, magnet pendant, easy clip and the pivot stand. This is the lens on the Go 2 and it has a pre-installed lens guard. The lens guard will protect your lens from getting scratches, water, dust or dirt. The lens guard is replaceable so if you do damage your lens guard then you can simply unscrew it and replace it with a new one. The status indicator will show you the different states of the Go 2. If the indicator is red then the Go 2 is charging. If the indicator is blue then the Go 2 is on. If the indicator is flashing white then the Go 2 is recording video and if there is no indicator then the Go 2 is off. The action button is used to activate a video or photo mode without the need of your charging case or phone. You can activate one mode with a single tap of the action button and you can activate a second mode with a quick double tap of the action button. You can also turn on the Go 2 with a long press of the action button and then single or quick double tap the action button to activate a further two modes. In the Insta360 app you can customize which mode you want to activate with a single or quick double tap. On the top of the Go 2 is the microphone. On the back of the Go 2 are gold charging points. When the Go 2 is placed inside the charging case, the gold points will touch the gold pins in the charging case and the Go 2 will start charging automatically. The back of the Go 2 is magnetic so you can attach it onto other metallic surfaces. The charging case has multiple functions. You can recharge the charging case via the Type-C USB port. The same port can be used to connect your Go 2 to your computer to transfer files. You can fold out the legs and turn the charging case into a mini tripod stand. You can mount the Go 2 onto a monopod or tripod with a quarter inch 20 thread. And when you open the charging case, you can use the buttons and LCD screen to wirelessly remote control the Go 2. The plain button is for cycling through the options and the red dot button is the record or enter button. The safest and easiest way to remove your Go 2 from the charging case is to grab the lens protector and pull it out of the case. The Go 2 is waterproof up to 4 meters straight out of the box with the lens guard on. However, the charging case is not waterproof. After you finish using the Go 2 in water, clean and dry the Go 2 with a soft cloth. The charging points should be dry and clean before putting it back in the charging case. If you use your Go 2 in salt water, then make sure to rinse it off with fresh water before you clean and dry it and put it back in the charging case. To charge the Go 2, put the Go 2 back in the charging case. Plug the Type-C USB cable into a USB charging plug. Plug the other end of the Type-C USB cable into the Go 2. Plug in your USB plug and and turn the switch on. Leave the Go 2 to charge until the status indicator on the charging case turns green. This means your Go 2 and charging case is fully recharged. The magnet pendant is a chest type mount which should be worn under a thin piece of clothing like a t shirt. Put the Go 2 near the center of the pendant and it will clip on magnetically. Be careful not to brush your hands across your chest because you may drop the Go 2. The length of the pendant can be adjusted shorter by pulling the two black clips apart and you can adjust the pendant longer by pulling the two black clips together. The easy clip is a head type mount which should be worn on a baseball cap. You can slot the easy clip onto the front or back of your cap. Be careful which way you put the Go 2 into the easy clip. One side is more magnetic than the other. Put the Go 2 into the easy clip both ways and use the way which has the stronger magnetic grip. To make sure your shot is centered, line up the lens with the center of your cap. You can adjust the clip up or down to get a high or low angle. The pivot stand is a sticky tight mount which you can stick almost anywhere. It works well on flat and smooth surfaces for the the best grip. The Go 2 can pivot 360 degrees and you can tilt the Go 2 up or down. When you have finished using the pivot stand, rinse the black sticky side with water, let it dry and then it's ready to reuse. The pivot stand can also be used with the Go 2 underwater as a short selfie stick. Now that you know what each part of the Go 2 does, go here for the next video and I'll see you there.